Hey friends, so I have a absolutely bizarre idea. Um, the plan is, is I'm going to make a hovercraft. And what I mean by that is not the kind that flies in the air, unfortunately, that's a little out of my pay grade. But um, like, think of like a hockey puck, where essentially it sits on a little pocket, or not hockey puck, air hockey puck, where it sits on a little pocket of air and floats around. I'm gonna make that, but something I can sit on. It's gonna be, I don't think it's gonna work, but I hope it works. So you guys are gonna be along for the ride. I'm gonna take you to Home Depot, but I'll be honest, I already went. I just forgot to record this. I'll be honest, when I started this process, I had absolutely no idea how ridiculously expensive leaf blowers were. Like, what on earth? Like, I'm just trying to get a fan, bro. Um, so I just browsed, finally found something that kind of worked. I was going for something wireless, but uh, I'm just gonna make it wired is much cheaper so finally found something in the price range I actually didn't end up going with that um, I got something else uh, I got the one next to it but this should be an interesting process so yeah I actually took those back out of my cart I just I have a magnet on my phone and I wanted to use it so this I'll be honest I have no idea what I'm doing I mean in all of what I'm doing so this is for another project I just wanted to put it in as a sneak peek um, but I watched one YouTube video, stopped it about 10 seconds in, and said, I could do that. So that's what we're going to do. I've got a really crappy saw in the studio. Um, I've The whole goal is to make a circle and then staple that tarp to it so it makes an air pocket and then have a three holes in the center of the tarp with a drilled out spot for the leaf blower. I don't think that makes any sense, whatever. So I grabbed some paint. I don't know where I'm going to put the paint, but i got to justify it and make it art. Wow. But I really just want to make a hovercraft, let's be completely honest. So right now I'm just chopping up, I'm grabbing some wood. I wish I could have chopped it up there, but they couldn't do circles, as you might imagine. Also, wood is so expensive. This project, I was like, ah, I'll spend like a hundred bucks. It was stupid expensive. And then the other thing is the extension cord. $70 for an extension cord, are you kidding me? Um, I don't intend to use this very much, so they're not a very sustainable thing. Um, so I went with the $9 ones. I got to grab two because... I have one leaf blower that blows, uh, that puffs up the actual like tarp, and the other one is for direction. So I might actually have to use that for extra power, though. We'll see. Um, so this is me cinematically taking it to the cart. Um, but yeah, so paid for everything. My pocket hurt, unfortunately, but uh, that was me going off road with the cart. And there's my piece of wood. I realized my brand new car that it is like four inches on each side too skinny and I could probably put it at an angle but I was like let's put it on top so strap it in there first time using the the platform and in the wise words of every dad ever that's not going anywhere <laughs> so this is me driving home it was like a two minute drive but I was still stressed right this is my like car I've had for a month um we made it safe and sound back to the studio and let's move on Alrighty, so we've got our giant piece of wood I need to make it really big because I've got a big old butt. So what I'm planning on doing is I wanted a perfect circle. So I've drilled a hole somewhat in the center and I'm just going to take my Sharpie, stick it in there, touch it to the wood. And make a circle. That was super easy. What the heck? Okay. So now we get to use my favorite thing in the entire world, power tools to chop this up, not a drill, but you know what I mean. So give me a sec. Here we go. So I got the drill. It should work pretty well. So a little cutting montage for you. First part is done. God, that's noisy. Honestly, that was really easy. Now we've got a beautiful circle. It's not perfect, it's real jagged on the edges, but I don't really care. So now let's, I don't know, figure out what to do next. All right, I've got an absolutely horrendously drawn circle that I'm gonna cut out of this tarp. What I'm gonna do is the, the disc is here. I'm gonna take this tarp, flip it over, staple it to the piece of wood, cut three holes in the center, and then figure it out from there. So that's the plan. So let's go ahead and cut this. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the PowerJet F700. This thing cost me way too much money for a single project, 
Um, so hopefully it's worth it. We're gonna give it a shot in a sec. I'm gonna drill a hole in the center of this canvas and then make it the same size as this diameter of this tube and then mount it right there. That should create enough pressure of air to be able to make a pocket for me to float on. Don't know yet, so we'll see. Behold, the Powerjet F700. This thing is insane. It's so much bigger than I thought. It's like a jet engine, kind of. Okay, well, uh, let's plug it in and see what happens. All right, this is test number one. Let's see how it goes. All right, so I have now mounted a piece of wood to the top of the blower. Got the blower here, it fits in like so. Three, two, one. Okay, it doesn't fit perfectly, but it'll do. And then, it turns on like that. So I'll be sitting, straddling it right here. Um, and then this will blow. We'll see if it works. Alrighty, holes are poked. Staple gun, gonna staple all the way around. And then we're gonna give it a shot. So, uh, let's get it going. Oh yeah. All right, here's test number one with it all set up. We did it. For these next couple clips, my friends Sunday and Cheyenne uh, came to check it out. So enjoy our commentary for a sec. All right, bye. Maybe Cheyenne gets it on it. Probably. All right, here we go. So sketch. Here we go. Okay. So I don't really have a fantastic ending to this video. Uh, it's just a bunch of clips of me fooling around on this thing. It took about four iterations for me to get something that actually worked. I started out with one hole in the center and it just didn't do what I wanted to since all the air just got pushed out. Uh, I needed it to kind of be dispersed. Then I went a little overboard and put holes everywhere, but I found it actually didn't even puff up anymore. This leaf blower is way too powerful for what I needed. And also my big butt weighs 250 pounds. So that was me being sad that it didn't puff up. Finally, I got it a place where I wanted it. I actually put less holes and I, I stuck the center of the uh, tarp to the base of the wood. So it cre essentially creates a pocket. It makes like a donut underneath that, if that makes sense. So I'm finally getting to a place I, I like it. I actually kind of rode on it here, which is pretty fun. But really, this is like the end of the story as far as this video. I, I don't really have a conclusion besides, wow, that was fun. So would love to kind of crowdsource some ideas here. Almost wiped out right there. But it's just so much fun. Like, I highly recommend you guys making one of these. If I can do it and I weigh that much, imagine if you weigh a buck 20, how much, how far that thing will go. You fly all across the United States. Not really, but... Um, yeah, made a huge mess. It's so loud too. That's the other thing to keep in mind. Um, but it's like a little mini surfboard. Um, and now we're going to kind of wrap up the video here. Here's me. I put a chair on it, which I loved, but I, I just don't know what I want to do with it. Like, it's just, I, I'm kind of at a loss. So let me know what you guys think. I could put a paint bucket on it. I could shoot it through paint. I could just, I, I, don't, I don't know. Let me know. Bye. Alrighty guys. So I don't know if that was a cohesive video. It was a ton of fun. Uh, we made a hovercraft, and now we are uh, going to make another video soon, actually painting with it. So if you, if you have ideas, let me know in the comment section. Um, if 
you made it this far, I appreciate you. It's the moment of truth. Can I actually ride on it? I've done it a couple times, but it's kind of hit or miss. So let's see. Now I gotta stop because it smells like a forest fire in here from that engine. Later.